today. First, as you saw this morning, the Saudis will open their airspace to all civilian carriers. That is a big deal, a big deal. Not only, not only symbolically, but substantively, it's a big deal. It means Saudi airspace is now open to flights to and from Israel. This is the first tangible step in the path of what I hope will eventually be a broader normalization of relations. Second, we concluded a historic deal that uh, to transform a flashpoint at the heart of the Middle East wars into an area of peace. International peacekeepers, including U.S. troops, will leave Tiran Island in the Red Sea, where they've been for over 40 years since the Camp David Accords. Five American soldiers died on this strategically located island in 2020, and it's important to remember them today. Now, thanks to the break, this breakthrough, this island will be open to tourism and economic development while uh, retaining all necessary security arrangements and, uh, and uh, the present freedom of navigation of all parties, including Israel. Finally, we discussed human rights and the need for political reform. As always, as I always do, I made clear that the topic is vitally important to me and to the United States. With respect to the murder of Khashoggi, I raised it at the top of the meeting, making it clear what I thought of it at the time and what I think of it now. And it was exactly, I was straightforward and direct in discussing it. I made my view crystal clear. I said very straightforwardly, for an American president to be silent on an issue of human rights, is this consistent with, inconsistent with who we are and who I am? I'll always stand up for our values.